Hey, Tavius here. Just wanted to take a couple minutes and talk to you about what is spam. Now, a lot of times you hear people refer to it, and spam is usually something that comes up in your mailbox, or sometimes you see it all over the web, where it's just stuff that's thrown out at anybody. Or, uh, of course, spam is also a meat product, mainly ham, spiced in a can that lasts pretty much forever. But really, the spam that you get in your mailbox, this is something that so many people are frustrated with. You sign off from your email, you come back, and all of a sudden you've got 50 new emails. How did it happen? What can you do about it? So the biggest thing you want to do, and really, I want to take a moment and, and just let you know this, that you need to look at what you've got coming in your inbox. Is it something important? Is it from someone you know? If not, take a look at the mail. If you open up the mail, there's usually at the bottom a link that says unsubscribe. So if you click that, usually you can just get yourself right off that mailing list. But sometimes you don't see that. So there's a couple of options you can do from there. Now, one thing you can do is just to uh, put a rule in your inbox that says anything coming from this person or this company goes straight to your trash. This is one way that can really take care of a lot of that, uh, although the best way really is the unsubscribe if you can do it. But the other thing is, how can you prevent getting it in the first place? So you look at all these places that are like, uh, enter our contest, uh, you know, win a truck, or you know, you could go through the mall and see something like that. In fact, we have one here at the mall where I'm at that they're giving away a truck pretty much all the time, but the, the prize doesn't come out for another eight months. And really, the biggest thing they get out of this is they get people's email address. So when they got the email address, they get tons and tons and tons of crap they send you. Um, you know, they're not sending you necessarily ham uh, or, or, you know, the can of meat. They're sending you garbage to your inbox. Uh, come buy a car from us, special deal this weekend, um, or, you know, whatever it is. It could be, you know, supplements. It could be anything. So you want to really look at it. First off, is there a value to where you're putting up your email address? If there is no value to it, um, don't worry about it. And sometimes there's places that just say, um, you know, just enter your email here and we'll start, uh, <laughs> they don't usually tell you, but they'll start blowing things uh, all over the place into your box. But sometimes there are things of value where you can really get something worthwhile. You'll see something where it says, you know, enter your email and we'll send you this information. Um, even with that, if you start seeing more email from it you don't like, you can just go to the bottom and hit that unsubscribe. That really takes care of a lot. Beyond that, of course, is the issue with um, getting that mail from, uh, you know, maybe you get friends and family that are doing it. Uh, my mother, you know, I love her a lot, but I get probably 10 to 15 emails a day from her. Uh, most of which are, you know, this is cute, this is what Maxine said, um, you know, here's a really cute Snoopy uh, um, comic, whatever. And sometimes it's really hard to tell with family, and you can't necessarily tell the family that, you know, don't send me anything. Um, sometimes they just like to share, let you know that they're there, and, you know, I get that too. But you know, if it's something that you can maybe tell them, hey, I don't want to have all of this stuff, so many stuff that's, you know, about the family or about, you know, our friends or whatever, great. But, you know, I really don't want to hear about all of the um, wonderful things that are happening in the news. Uh, personally, I don't watch the news. But that's the point, is you just say to yourself, is this something I want to see? Um, for myself, I 
have an email list of myself, but I try and give value. Um, for those who are on my list, I send them copies of my blogs and training and things like that to help them along. And you will find places that are like this. That's what they do. And I'm on a few lists that are just like that. Um, you know, and if I'm on a list and I start getting tired of seeing what I have, I can always just go to the bottom and do that same unsubscribe. Now, if you don't have the option of unsubscribing and you don't want to just set up a rule for it, there are a couple of paid services. Um, I'm not going to list them here in the video, but you will see a link, uh, a set of links down at the bottom to find out more about those. Those really are um, an option if you're willing to pay a little bit to get it, and that gets it off of there forever, uh, at least hopefully. <laughs> so in the, in the long, long run, what you want to do is just pay attention to what you're doing. Now, I will actually have a link that you can click at the end of this video. And the one thing I tell you is I don't spam. Um, you know, I try and give value and you know, 80 to 90 percent of what you get from me is going to be like blogs and quick tips on how to do things. Um, so the one thing about it for anybody who does put their email in, uh, I've got a couple of uh, books that I've written that I'll actually send you the, the file for for free. But more importantly, the information that you get, there's going to be a video that you can watch after this that can tell you how you could make an extra $3,000 a month. Maybe if you're looking for something from, uh, maybe you're looking for Christmas money, maybe you're looking for birthday money, maybe you're just looking to get rid of the job. There are some options and I want to give you that to uh, take a look at. And really, I recommend if you want to get out of your situation, you're tired of seeing all of the things around you, you know, there are things you can do about it. And if you can get commissions up to $3,000 on something, is it worth it? Is it worth the cost of your lunch? Uh, you know, take a look at the link at the end. And with that, have a great day. And also keep an eye out on your inbox. You will see information from me, uh, specifically, uh, a couple of books from me and a couple other presents there just for being on my list. So that said, have a great day and uh, look forward to talking to you next time. For the sake of disclosure and me being completely honest with you, my results aren't typical. The income statements, testimonials, and luxury photo examples are exceptional. They're not intended to represent or guarantee that anyone will achieve the same or similar results. It is my opinion that most people who purchase any how-to or business opportunity product, including but not limited to my own, get little if any results. I believe this is because they don't take action and they don't keep trying after hitting that inevitable roadblock. If you want to succeed, you need to have a good plan, a solid work ethic, and the ability to keep working toward your goals when you hit that snag. If you simply keep buying the next greatest and latest business opportunity and you never follow instructions and take action, you're wasting your time. The people illustrated throughout this site have worked hard to see results, and the same opportunity exists for you if you work hard.